For the longest time, provision of decent housing has been the government's focus, with many Kenyans saying that they cannot access or afford many of the mortgage products in the market. To bridge the gap, the government has partnered with the private sector to provide a solution to the housing problem. This is now a very good showcase of uh, what uh, affordable housing is all about. It is government making intervention in this uh, housing sector because we know that there has been a lot of challenges. Uh, we have very few homeowners for a country of 47 million plus. We only have less than 25,000 mortgages. So this number that we are adding now uh, is as a result of all the efforts that we have put in, in the last two years uh, to make sure that the home ownership dream is not a privilege for the few. The house uh, is uh, from 3.2 million, uh, that's per house, which includes the parking also, one free parking. and. Uh, that is, uh, it is much, much below than even what the government uh, affordable housing pricings are. To bridge the gap, the government has partnered with the private sector to provide a solution to the housing problem. In Ungatarungaya Royal Group are putting up a 720-unit, 10-block housing development, targeting the student populace, private sector workers, as well as formal employees. Apart from just creating the 720 units, where we created a whole new structure which would compromise of uh, shopping areas. We have an uh, area which will uh, be given to address a school and then also a medical facility. The reason for these things to come up was to create a full community, not only just the houses but a full community. Apart from these facilities, we also have of course uh, communal centers within the project. In line with the government regulations, the two-bedroom units will be in 10 blocks rising five floors. They will have paved motorways and playing ground. Solar has been earmarked for use in street lighting, as well as a borehole sunk nearby, assuring residents of a permanent resource of water supply. There are several barriers to affordable housing. One is inadequate service land suitable for housing development. This means developers have to spend a lot of money connecting roads, power, water and sewer lines to the site whose costs are pushed towards purchasers. When you develop an, uh, a housing unit that is not in the affordable housing, you're going to be charged VAT. But VAT is almost 16%, uh, and that is a huge cost uh, that we are now uh, making that available to the developer. Massimilanoi, K24 Business.